Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I thought I would post a little quick video featuring everything that I'm currently painting at the moment. So as I've said a million times in the past two weeks, Bo and I just got home from a trip, a month long trip to see our family. And while my clock has somewhat adjusted, I realized that I still felt so unorganized when it came to like things I was doing every day. So I thought that it might be helpful for myself to film this and show it to you that I could just lay everything out. I went through all the notes that I keep of all my project pans and pulled out everything. And there were so many things that I literally forgot that I was supposed to be working on. So I'm really glad that I did this, but again, we're gonna lay everything out and have a look and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, as we first get into this, this is everything laid out. It seems like a lot laid out like this. So like I said, I'm trying to remind myself exactly what I need to work on since I took a month long break and I came back and when I was picking items for my roulette pan collab intro, I had a hard time remembering what items or what categories I already was working on. So this is what we got going on. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of rearrange and do them based on categories. And then that way I can clearly see like what primers I'm working on, what foundations. But yeah, this is everything. I will go over them really quickly before I rearrange them. Over here, we have my face palette. This is the one item in my year long pan that face palette. Then right behind it, we have a couple new decade project pan items that actually goes there. And then we have my 20 and 2020 project pan, what's left of it. And then we have the partners in cream project pan items. And then this is the graveyard project pan items. And then the last one here is the newest roll ins to all of these items. This is the roulette pan collab intro for round eight. So like I said, I'm gonna rearrange these items into categories so we can better see what we're working with here. All right, I believe this is everything in the right category. So I will start over here. These are the only two primers that I'm working on. I have a Hocus Focus Illuminating Primer and a NYX Illuminator. So actually this is a liquid highlight, but I tend to use it a little bit like a primer, sometimes as a body in a, in a body lotion and sometimes as a highlight. So I wasn't really quite sure where to put it, but since I probably get the most use of it or I use the most of this product as a primer, I went ahead and stuck it with primers, which kind of now that I'm thinking about it isn't ideal since I'm working on two illuminating primers and that's kind of hard to do. Now these two items here are the foundations I'm working on. I have one more full coverage foundation and one more medium to light foundation and I actually moved that white uh, stick I'll talk about in a minute to, uh, to contouring and bronzing because it better fits there. But yeah, I think this is perfect. This is like what I need to do. I need to kind of have something more full coverage, something more light coverage so that I'm not working on the same types of foundations. That is way less overwhelming. Now, as you can see back here, I do have two powder which again isn't ideal to be working on two of the same type if I'm trying to finish them both but this one's almost done it's more of a full coverage powder like it actually kind of adds a little bit of coverage to whatever I wear it on top of this is a little bit lightweight and so I have actually been liking them together which is kind of nice it wasn't planned to be able to wear them like that, but so far it's working out that way. Then we have two concealer products. One is more of an under eye primer and one is the actual concealer, which I think those will work out just fine together. Now up front here, I have a lot of bronzing and contouring products. These two items literally serve the same purpose, so this one's barely getting touched at all. This I'm trying to use as like a the light side of a contour, so like when I go too heavy with bronzer or contour, I try to clean up with this guy. And then this here I'm using as a contour powder and then this little spoiler here, I am doing really well on my pan that face palette. So those are working out just fine. I am only using the powder side of this elf little guy because I don't like this. It's too sticky of a brow wax. So this I'm trying to use up as a contour. 
I do have one face setting spray at this time, which is fine. I actually don't tend to pan many uh, facial mists because I don't really use them all the time. And then we have two highlights here. One is more of my like daily driver, especially if I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow. This is like the thing I put on my face to kind of have some fun. It's a very pink kind of highlight. I love this thing. My goal was originally to try to pan this this year. And as we can see, that's definitely not going to happen. So I did change my goal recently to just pan on it. Then I have my highlight from Cru Cruella ColourPop collection and or, or the Disney Villains collection. And this I'm trying to expand the pan on. I just put this back into my Partners in Cream project. And I really enjoy it. So I don't feel like I have too many highlights to be working on. Even though both of them are duochrome, I feel like they're extremely wearable. And this one's more warm and this one's a little bit more cool. So they kind of serve like, I, I feel like I have a good mixture of highlights right now. Okay, and back here I have some boring products, but... An eyebrow pencil that I'm working on, an uh, eyelash glue that I'm working on in my year-long project pan, and then this is in my new decade project pan, which they're just kind of staple items that I desperately would love to move out of my collection, but they are taking forever this year. All right, let's talk about these eyeshadows up front. I have one Stila Glitter in the shade Sea Siren. So pretty, but it is more cool tone than I kind of expected, which is not the best right now. Right now, as we're moving from summer to fall, I'm just so interested in like those bronzy fall warm tones, but still, still a beautiful shade. And I am going to work on it, but it might not be the fastest one to hit goal on. Now, this one, this one is up my alley. This is Moonwalk from ColourPop. Such a gorgeous shade. And I like that I don't, you know, I don't have like two purples. So that's kind of nice. This is is so beautiful. Also, I have like the veiniest hands. I feel like I, I hate swatching on my hands because they're just so veiny, but I've always been like that. Oh, this, this is a blush. This is, I put in the wrong spot. I'm not painting any other blushes at the moment because I did hit pan in a blush recently in my year long project pan, which is so exciting. But this guy is my only blush right now. So maybe I'll put it over here with my cheek products. And then this palette here, I just recently put into my Roulette Paint Collab project, and I'm just trying to use this 10 times, which honestly, it is a lot for me because I have so many eyeshadow palettes that fit that warm tone vibe and that fall vibe, but this is such a beautiful fall palette, so I definitely want to make sure that I get use out of it, and I think 10 is a good time, like good number of times to try to reach for this this year. Okay, I have three lip items back here. I have my lip liner that literally is taking me years to finish. I have this gloss that I just put into the Roulette Paint Collab. Also, like it is way more pigmented, pigmented than I remember it being, but I have had a little bit of success um, thinning it out. But I think what I need to do, since I'm painting two glosses, again, not the brightest idea to lend, but I think what I need to do is try to work on finishing up the orange one, and then I can focus my efforts on this guy. This one, if I honestly tried, I could get it done in less than a month, so I really just need to buckle down and do it. And onto the more boring stuff, I definitely have some skincare here, just a vitamin C serum that I put in my Roulette Pan Collab, and then this is from the New Decade Project Pan. This is an Argerlean solution. I'm so close to finishing it. I really just need to buckle down and do it, but honestly, I'm glad that I'm filming something like this because I forgot that this was in a project until I like sat down and read all my notes and realized, oh yeah, I'm supposed to finish that sometime soon. And then last up back here, also I'm really glad to remember which one of these are in a project pan. I did remember that I was working on two fragrances, so I've made some decent progress on those. I almost forgot this. As soon as I got back from like Alabama visiting home, I wore this a good bit when I was home and made some progress obviously, but um, I forgot to do it back once we got back in Sweden because the sun is literally going into hiding most days. Today is so cloudy and nasty. And then these here I also almost forgot about because I I do use them pretty much any time I paint my nails. Sorry that they're not really focusing very well. I do use them pretty much any time I paint my nails, but I did forget that they were in a project, which means I need to make sure that these lines don't fade away, and I need to make sure that I use them a little bit more often than I naturally might pull for them. Okay, this is everything. I hope you didn't mind a little quick updated video of just everything that I'm working on and painting right now. Make sure you say hello in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!